Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another single eyeshadow decluttering video and uh, today I'm starting fresh and refreshed from the last time to uh, do my green single shadows. I'm starting with this and then seeing how far I get with other colors that I still have to do but this one is a big one and uh, as you can imagine green is one of my favorite colors to wear as eyeshadow. I have a ton of green in my palettes and I have a ton of green single eyeshadows and I need to compare them to make sure I'm not keeping things I don't need. So let's get started. You can see I kind of just dumped them all here kind of in, fa in color families but I actually want to go mattes versus shimmers in separate moments and let's start with the mattes and I'm gonna start with this uh, Lethal Cosmetics Relapse. We have Kwasniak from um, Glam Shop. I have this is from a Morphe 35M palette. Another acidic green they all are different you guys and I, this is what i was afraid of actually uh, that i would not have anything to declutter or not afraid i mean it's not a bad thing this is inglot 288 it's not a bad thing per se but um it was also quite obvious that i love my green eyeshadows and there was probably not a lot that I would be decluttering here. I was thinking a little bit more maybe um, than I did uh, previously. This and these are now the Makeup Geek ones that I have that I don't pull out of the Ma Matrix palette because I'm afraid of nicking them as I tend to do with my greens or with my single shadows anyways. Um, where to go next? these ones this one i put in my maybe palette because i didn't know if i had something similar this is a marinated piece by glam shop and it looks like i don't um habitat by lethal cosmetics this is a dirty martini by makeup geek i had something else underneath um and that is actually quite similar to uh the new Makeup Geek, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Even though it's a really good shadow and it still performs really well, but I don't need both. I am trying not to use wipes as much, so I'm just wiping it, my hands off on a on a on a towel, but it stays on my fingers. Hi T by Makeup Geek, and this is uh, much more neutral. Then I still have Radical by Nabla. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> Definitely not going anywhere. This is Syncope by um, Lethal Cosmetics. I don't use this a ton and it's quite similar. Maybe a little bit more grey than, uh, than Radical. But I'm not really ready to declutter my Lethal Cosmetics eyeshadows. So I think I'm going to keep those, uh, both of them. And actually I have way more shimmers than mattes it look like in this category let's say <laughs> uh, let's continue maybe with these more murky ones this one is recluse by um, lethal this is color drain congo basin from um, ah, this one had a hard pan but yeah here you can see still see the color and this one is runaway by lethal cosmetics so I think these are all different enough that I'm, I only get, got rid of uh, the one. Other hand for the cooler toned ones. This is uh, Lethal Cosmetics Void. Color Drain Level Up. Sticky finger apparently. Inglot 333. There's another Inglot 331. And they swear they're different. I wonder why this one didn't swatch so well. I think it was because of my finger. Lethal Cosmetics Eden. Conjure up by Colourpop and we're leaning cooler and cooler as we go. Are these very similar? No, Conjure up is more blue for sure, more teal. 
and then I think these are the last two Envy by Divina Cosmetics and Squad by Colored Rain. I know what it is. I just what well, I just did my skincare, so my hands are very moisturized. Um, I think they're all different and they're all staying. For the shimmers, I applied some primer on my um, arm because some shimmers perform better than others, but I always wear primer on my eyes anyways. So I want to compare them fairly. This is Tami Tanuka, she who keeps the secret of the green flame. Always super long. We have a Limelight by Makeup Geek. And Keeper of a Heartbeat by... Tami Tanuka as well, even though, I mean, it just has a shift. It's actually very tan, so it doesn't really fit in this category. Um, Mary Jane by Colourpop. It's more in this family. And are these all different enough? I think if I look between Limelight and Mary Jane, I would use Mary Jane, so I'll get rid of Limelight. Um, Orion by Davina Cosmetics. Which is a green with uh, some nice sparkle. The Naughty Novice by Divina Cosmet uh, by uh, Tamita Nuka, but this one only has a green shift, so again, shouldn't even be in this category. <laughs> Didn't do a great job, huh? This is Bax from Glam Shop, and I think this one's discontinued. I was so surprised because it's such a beautiful um, textured green. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Green Valley from Colored Rain. Um, and if I have to think of which one of these I would use, I would rather use Baxa than Green Valley, if I look at them. But I really love the formula of the colored rain, so I'll put them in a maybe moment. I'm not sure I'm gonna get rid of it. Then Citron by Nabla. I have a lot of good memories with this one, and I don't really have a shade that is that similar to it, in the sense that it's a little bit more yellow than these two. I guess I can add some of the multichromes here. This is Incarnation by Tamitanuka. I try to use the least amount <laughs> so that I don't um, uh, waste it, but you can see that it is green in some light and it goes to um, a gold, a dirty gold. Um, this is Chromosphere by Divina Cosmetics and Patina by Cleona and they're all slightly different similar but slightly different the winged foreigner by Tami Tanuka is also one of these guys it's actually quite similar I guess to Chromosphere but I don't know they're all different <laughs> do I use them all probably not um, Awakening this one we're starting to go more into the teal shift uh, right there, like more cool tone green to teal type of shift. I, of course, I'm not gonna get rid of any of those. They're so stunning. Um, Mother Nature by Tami Tanuka. This one is one that I have a hard time performing, so I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I probably pressed it a little bit too hard. This one is She Who Awoke the Ancient Dragon by Tami Tanuka, and this one is more um of, of a sheer base with a lot of nice sparkle on top of it again not necessarily something i use a lot of i have to say this also i'm tempted to get rid of here we have orion from glam shop from the remix palette which yeah is quite similar but it has much more impact so i'm yeah i'm keeping that i'm happy the other one i don't need Then The Soul Gatherer by Tami Tanuka. This is quite nice. Uh, Wizard by Glam Shop. It's called Magic in, in Polish. But this is uh, definitely a teal. <laughs> and uh, One Pulling into the Abyss, which is a teal from Tami Tanuka. Oh, that's my mole and <laughs> bone. It's uh, slightly different, I find, or different enough at least, from Wizard. 
I am running out of space, so I'm going to switch hands and also switch a bit color families for a little bit. This is Illuminati, Illuminati by um, Makeup Geek. This, uh, I had the one in the round pan that I already decluttered in my previous declutter. This is Cryptic by uh, Lethal Cosmetics. And this is just, uh, that's, this is why I don't like Lethal's shimmers. They're just not easy to use. Um, Vertex by Lethal Cosmetics. And I keep them because some of these colors are just so unique, like this one right here. It doesn't perform great, uh, but it is so unique in my collection. And I forgot to put... Uh, primer on this hand actually so let me do that and uh, dragon rider in the forest by tami tanuka beautiful do i have anything similar here no it is a little bit cooler tone with a nice shift side of olives by colored rain and here we start with the olives and it's different enough from illuminati it's like a, a touch deeper and this one is Tea Garden by Colored Pop. This one is in my maybes because I don't know if I want to keep it. I think not. I will get rid of that one. Take Two by Makeup Geek from the old foils. And Venom. They're all quite similar yet different. Like I usually put Take Two on the lid and Venom on the outer V, for example, or things like that. Stand out by on the by Morphe from the 35M. It's such a beautiful shade, such an unexpected, maybe a little bit of a copper shift to it. You see, some of of these Morphe shades always surprise me. Um, what could be similar? Abracadabra by um, Glam Shop is instead. It's maybe a little bit similar, but it's lighter and the shift is more leaning pink than copper and the base is cooler and lighter then i have pink kiwi um, right here that i showed you already um, that has a pink base and a green shift on top um, truffle glitter by anastasia birdie hills which i am actually i'm doubting this should be with my cool or neutrals rather than my olives isn't it And I think we're transitioning slowly to cooler things. This is Havoc by Makeup Geek, an old um, duochrome. Quite pretty. I can't get rid of these. <laughs> Typhoon by Makeup Geek, also a duochrome. This is a lighter, cooler. I don't see myself using it though. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I think I used it maybe once or twice in the whole time I've had it, which is quite some time. And now we go to the green, cooler greens. This is Makeup Geek Voodoo. Oh yeah, the one that I pressed that I pressed probably too hard because I can't get it to actually transfer nicely to my hand. I need to repress this one, but you see it's just, it's a forest, or not a forest green, a green, a grass green that I don't own. This one is Flora by Glam Shop. This one shifts purple though. Big Banks by Colourpop. I think this one could be one of those that just goes because it's very boring, but I don't know if I have something similar um, anywhere in my collection. It's a bit of a boring shimmer. This is Bravo from the Remix palette of Glam Shop. Maybe if I take this off. Here, more space. Uh, Epic by Makeup Geek. Different. Why? How are? How can they be all so different? I don't see dupes here. This one is Houdini by Makeup Geek. Very deep. And then Elphic by Glam Shop and uh, Shepherd of the Glowing Jellyfish, the names, by Tami Tanuka. Yeah. They're all different, you guys. They're all different. So from this whole bunch of eyeshadows, I'm getting rid of six right here. <laughs> that was, um, yeah. 
not very successful in terms of the clutter, but I love my greens. So that was that. Here we are in the next category. I pulled out my uh, blue-brown type of shadows and I have a few. Um, this one's from Colourpop and it's called Wishful Winking right here. I have the actual blue-brown that is a MAC pigment that it has already binder. So you just need to add a little bit of alcohol and it presses beautifully. So that's the original, let's say. I have Insomnia by Makeup Geek, which was their dupe at the time for it. And um, still a beautiful, you can see that it's a bit different, right? The, the intensity of the base is a little bit different and the formula is also definitely different. Then I have from the Lamb Shop, from the Remix palette, this is called Kosak. And uh, this is also similar. I can get rid of this one. I don't need all three of them and I do love these two a lot. Um, I think that's all the blue-browns as such. I still have a few similar colored pigments. This is Black Star Green from TKB Trading. And it's just very, very deep, shimmery, yeah, blackened teal, I guess. But I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I I will never use it. I have, yeah, an Essence um, loose, that was a loose pigment that I pressed. One of the first things I ever pressed in my life. It's a charcoal granite type of shade. And I wanted to actually compare it with the ones from Makeup Geek that I have here, but it doesn't look like there's anything similar, is there? I think it's quite a nice shade. Um, yeah, I think I'll keep it and put it in with these right here. And then kind of the, reminded me of the same family is Messier by uh, Divina Cosmetics, but it's, uh, yeah, it kind of has a similar feel, but it's much brighter and lighter. And look at that effect. So this is still something I would use over any of these. And this is Zigzag by uh, Glam Shop, which is also a gorgeous shifty eyeshadow, as you can see. Not that far off, actually, from Messier. Um, the formula is different, though. Like, by a lot. Okay, so um, these can go back in their palettes and these three I'll just put in here for now. I don't need a separate palette for them specifically. And actually I'm thinking of uh, bringing these more cooler tone browns into the rest of my neutral collection. Okay, I took out all of my neutrals and warm neutrals and I want to take a look. Uh, the mattes I have already swatched in my previous videos so that those are not as important to me right now. You can see that I have some tendency to have similar colored mattes but the shimmers are really what I want to look at in terms of um, similarities and different formulas because for example I have a bunch of glam shop shades that are really beautiful and I don't know if I want to keep anything else. These are a bit cooler. I'll take a look at them later. And here I have a little bit of a greenish, also cool, but on the greenish side, this is more cool on the taupey side type of deal. Let's start with the lightest ones. Uh, um, there are some favorites like Neve Liquid Mirror. This is no idea. It has no name. I also think that Neve Cosmetics pigment to be honest because it's so s similar in texture the one from the blink palette that i got in um in a boxy charm makeup geek magic act and these are all uh, really beautifully um foiled eyeshadows but now if i go and and show you oh this is also neve cosmetics this is versailles um also a what a what, what a texture what a beautiful shade and uh colorpop diego is here again we swatched these before here comes the glam shop this is from the remix palette right here and this one has a quite a strong shift let me see if i can show you it has um green sparkle in it 
it's not like a shift, but the sparkle is green. Super beautiful. You can see the difference in texture here on my fingers. One looks more metallic and one looks more wet. And that's the little sparkles. Then we have Splash by Glam Shop. Oh, this is nice. Kind of makes me want to get rid of the Blink one. But the Blink one is a bit more peach, I feel like. It's this one right here. No, I actually don't think I need that one. So I'll get rid of that one. Um, this is Herbarts by Glam Shop. I also have a sneaky suspicion this one is discontinued. Also a beautiful warm base with a lot of wet looking sparkle. And this is one is Magia. And it's one of the first ones that I got. Also a beautiful light tone. And I think... Yeah, I think getting rid of this one is a good idea. I still don't have something in the same yellow family as Magic Act by Makeup Geek. I wish I did, um, but yeah, so it is. I have uh, Crystal, which this is one of the marbles by Glam Shop. This is also very, very light, but a little bit more frosty uh, in tone. So I think these will all stay and we got rid of one of them. That's okay. Then let's look at these more greeny and cooler ones. This is uh, Bedding of the Bride from Tami Tanuka. Ooh, I pressed this, <laughs> so it's a little bit loose. It's gorgeous and it has so many different dimensions. It looks really nice. This is Mother of the Cups and also one of my favorite mid-tone browns to use on my eyes. This one right here is Macadamia by Glam Shop and it's a velvet eyeshadow. Beautiful. Nothing like it. This one is Invulnerable Air Woman, also from Tami Tanuka. Also quite loosely uh, pressed. And it's, oh my goodness, so beautiful with a lot of different colored sparkle. I see blue, I see pink, I see copper. Beautiful. Uh, this is Headliner by Glam Shop. And this one has more, uh, a much more berry base. Yeah, definitely. Completely different fam color family. It's just when you look at them in the pan, it doesn't look so different. Uh, this is from the 35M. Now we're going much cooler. Uh, this is Truffle Glitter from yeah, Anastasia Beverly Hills that we just looked at and said, well, maybe it should be somewhere else. It looks like here is the place it should be. Amazon Basing by Colored Rain is in this color family, but more brown and less greeny gray. Uh, Frozen Brown by Glam Shop is a more cool toned brown right here. I can even think of... Um, Swatching a few other things next to this one though. From here. I was thinking of Mesmerized by Makeup Geek, but now that I pulled it out, this is much more purple. Yeah, that's why it's in my mauve purple type of uh, palette. Yeah, that is uh, not similar at all. So we've swatched all of these and I have these two were in my maybe uh, palette. This is Moon Dust by Makeup Geek. And I think I can now get rid of it looking at it next to these others and this one is prom night by makeup geek yeah this one as well they looked really nicely when i when i swatched them by themselves i mean they are very nice shadows but i prefer all the other tones i swatched so far and then of this little group we have woodwinked by mac and this is from the Blink palette and BoxyCharm, different undertones. This is Glitz by Nabla. I guess actually this is quite similar to the Blink or not. It looks like it, doesn't it? I guess I don't need both. I'll get rid of the Blink and I'm going to keep the Nabla one. Uh, this is the other, another one from the Blink palette which is a beautiful, yeah, I'm gonna keep this one, beautiful mid uh, brown, and this is Danae by Nabla, which is more of a topper shade, actually, with more base than you, their usual uh, topper shades, but it's really pretty, it has a lot of dimension. 
So I'll keep these. Lastly for this group is the more reddish coppery shades and this is Sunset by Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, 35M by Morphe. This is um, Weather for the Rich by Glam Shop. It's one of their marbled eyeshadows. And it's so difficult to use, my god. It's so emollient. It's also so gorgeous, but to be honest, I never use it. I'm gonna get rid of this one. The thing is, like this I bought myself, but I don't like how emollient this formula is. It's very thick on the eyes, uh, in my experience. I know a lot of people love it, and you have to just make sure you use the tiniest amount, but to be honest, this is too much hassle to, hassle to, for me to use. Ooh, Paper Crane by Colourpop. If now anything swatched next to this one looks like nothing, doesn't it? Um, Rust by Nabla. Oh, I think I'll get rid of that one. Um, the Vibes by Colourpop. Much better. I'll also get rid of Paper Crane. I don't need all three of these and I like the texture of the last one much better. Fenice by Nave Cosmetics. Now we're going more red. Should be or not. Actually, very similar to the last one, but a little bit deeper. This one is Australian Amber by TKB Trading. Do I have anything like it on this side? Yeah, it doesn't look like something I want to keep, so that's going to go. Steampunk by Makeup Geek. I'm pretty sure I have nothing like it. Uh, Material Girl by Colourpop. These I already swatched together. There's nothing really new from the last time I swatched these. West Star by Colourpop. Uh, on this side I don't have, I didn't put um, a primer this time. And this is from the 35M palette. Yeah, that's fine. So these were my neutrals, shimmers. Um, the mattes I had already swatched previously, so those are uh, gonna stay. Now I just need to figure out how to put them in this palette. Okay, this is, I guess, the final, final <laughs> bird like uh, palette that I needed to take a look at, and that's my cooler tones, uh, but on the mauvey, taupey side, and then we also have some reddish. I don't know, you guys. Um, I had this in my maybe pile. It's Oolong from uh, Neve Cosmetics. I used it in the crease. It's really, really pretty. I don't know that I can get rid of it yet, uh, to be honest. Um, capsize yeah these are so pretty still uh, let's look at the shimmers because that's what we're here to compare right uh, Luna with pink champagne not that similar I guess this was the topper this is a uh, illusion by glam shop and it's a um, a marble. My God, every time I just pick up too much, you see? And then that amount should be spread over this surface. That's why it makes it super difficult to actually put it on your eyes because you need the tiniest amount and then it's the best thing ever. I mean, look at that, how wet it looks. Tribeca. Is there anything from Glam Shop that I have here actually? No. <laughs> no, because we took a look earlier. So here we go. 
I finished the declutter of my single eyeshadows and this in the middle is the pile of shadows that are going and I counted them, they're 188. I am super proud of that. There's a lot of things that I don't wanna necessarily declutter in the sense that a lot of Tami Tanuka that was quite expensive, Glam Shop that is relatively new, but a lot of shadows that, oh yeah, this one exploded, a lot of the shadows that I had a lot of love for for a long time. So yeah, I think I am quite um, happy and proud of this. Uh, it breaks my heart because my single eyeshadow collection is my babies, was my baby, still is. I still have a lot of singles. Um, but all of these are now gonna go. I hope uh, I'm gonna try real hard to get them a new house, a new home. Uh, I don't wanna get throw in the trash anything that is still usable. And I, um, yeah, I am curious to hear how you experience this process. It's been very long. For me, it took, I think it's been spanning two weeks. Of course, I don't do it every day, um, uh, but uh, when I have time to film, I then do this and it's been taking two weeks. Um, I feel much lighter. My the, the palettes that I'm keeping are much smaller. I can combine. I combine the musters and the yellows, for example. I only have one purple palette, which I don't wear purple, so one purple palette is enough. My pinks are all in one place. My reds are actually quite small. I might downsize them to a smaller palette. The oranges are here. All my greens are together instead of having the greens and the teals in one and the warmer olive greens in another. They're all fitting in this palette right here. My blues and my iridescents are here. Um, oh, this one's empty. <laughs> and uh, these are my corals. So I still need to do some organizing to do to make sure that I can make the optimum use of the space that I have. But I am already much, much happier of uh, what I have. Now making sure I don't give away things that I shouldn't be giving away, like palettes that have things I wanted to keep. But yeah, this is my declutter pile and it's finished. 188 shadows lighter. Let me know if you're interested in any of these, either bundles per brand, per color, um, single shadows specifically that you've seen me swatch today that you know I, I, uh, um, I am passing along. Um, let me know, hit me up on Instagram and I'll also be happy to get rid of these metal uh, Makeup Forever palettes because they're very big and I don't need them. And I prefer to have ones with windows like the Z palettes and these Makeup Geek ones are the best uh, actually. So. It's the end of an era, I think for me, it's moving on from being a single eyeshadow person, completely and only, and having a bit of a mix of everything. The end of this series as well, and we're gonna resume with regular content soon. Thank you all so much for watching, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye!